Hello and welcome to the Tankspot Icecon Citadel Raid Guide. My name is Aliena and in this video I'll cover everything you need to know about the heroic mode 10-man version of the Festergat encounter. I will assume that you're familiar with the normal version of this encounter. If you're not, I suggest first watching our guide to the 10-man normal mode to learn about Festergat's base abilities. If you'd like more information or would like to learn more about downloading this movie, click more info on the movie information box on YouTube to head directly to Tankspot. Also be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to the right so you will be automatically notified as we release movies. As with most other hard mode fights, Vestergaard's health has greatly increased. He now sports 13.7 million instead of his usual 9.5, so you're dealing with a 44% health increase. His enrage timer on the other hand stays the same, so this presents a much tougher DPS race. Naturally, every ability of his deals more damage to raid also. Especially noteworthy in that aspect is Gacy's Blight before any inhales. It inflicts almost double of what it does in his normal version, approximately 5k per pulse. Coupled with high tank damage and random damage inflicted by vile gas and gas spores, this means you might have trouble getting away with less than 3 healers. As per usual, this fight also requires 2 tanks, so you're left with 5 DPS to beat the Enrage timer. The only actual mechanic change Festergat has received will become visible to you straight away. Up on a balcony all by his lonesome, Professor Putricide will appear and regularly toss malleable goos at your raid that inflict about 10k damage on top of a mean slow debuff. Your ranged raid members should be spread throughout the room, so it should be easy for them to see any goo balls coming their way and to move a couple yards. But in case they don't, it might be a good idea to have a right member call out where the ball is going to land. As for your melee team, they should just move as a unit from one of Festergat's feet to the other whenever a goo ball is headed their way. It's definitely a good idea to call out melee goo balls since they tend to be challenged by having to move. We also typically have one or two healers stack up with the melee so they can't be afflicted by vile gas. Avoiding goos is crucial as you'll start lagging behind either in DPS or healing if your rig consistently gets hit by goos. Another thing you should be aware of is that Punch and Blight inflict significantly more damage than in the normal version, so surviving it without 3 stacks of inoculated will be tough for some classes, especially your clothies. If at all possible, you want to absolutely make sure that every raid member is within range of a gas spore when they spawn. Lastly, tank damage is atrociously high after Festergat acquires 3 stacks of Inhale Blight, so you'll want to keep cooldowns handy at that point. Good luck and have fun! Thank you for watching this movie. As always, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers. So if you'd like to learn more about that, just click the second link in the movie information box.